So we're going to start by just taking a look at a lamp lighter and how easy it is to use fiber, because I realize that for many of you, you may not have used fiber as yet. Let's now just stick it into the lamp lighter. This is what you would do if you've mounted a lamp lighter underneath the layout, and there's light. So you just stick that up into a building. So again, if we just cut the end of the fiber, we'll be able to see that it doesn't change the light at all. Very, very simple idea. So now let's go to the layout and take a bit of a look at that. What you see there are a group of swan neck lamps providing rather nice pools of light onto my little Rolls Royce over there. And you'll notice there's a church building over here and that's quite nicely lit. And it's lit particularly at the front, which is very typical. But if I put my hand down over here, there's just a fiber that I stuck in 45 degrees and it shines up onto the church. In other words, you easily, easily spotlight um, objects on your layout using fibers. And I really like that idea. So over here, for example, there's a children's playground and there's a flag up here that's lit. But if I put my hand in front of the light, there it is, unlit and lit. And again, all I did was take a fi fiber and put it in at 45 degrees. Now, one of the other features, though, is when lighting buildings, one of the things I do is I'll put usually aluminum foil on the inside, as well as putting parchment paper over the windows. And that allows us to have a diffuse light from the building, which looks a lot more attractive. One of the rooms actually isn't got, hasn't got parchment paper, and in fact, you can see inside and it's a bedroom. The building to the right there, actually on the ground floor, does not have anything in the windows. What I did was I actually put, you can see maybe the fiber in there, and I just put some material out over the fiber so as to create, again, a diffuse light. So it's very easy to change the way lighting goes on in, in a building. So one of the other features I'd like to show you is a billboard, very simple to mount on top of a buildings you might typically see in a, um, an industry or an industrial area rather. And then along the waterfront, I have my globe lamps and you can't probably see them quite well, but in terms of color, but I've actually painted them a little bit yellow orange. There's a industrial building lamp over the front of the building here. You can see that bit, that light there. That industrial building lamp provides a very nice light. Now, one of the special things on my layout is this English pub. The English pub, you can probably see, has got lights on the front of it, so it's got um, basically Christmas lights. Those are created using fiber and just nicking the fiber and then painting those nicks where the light comes out. But inside the building, I've actually got carpeting and tables and chairs, as you'd expect inside a typical English pub. And again, it's just lit there with fibers. But you can also see there's the benches outside with the umbrellas on the top. And once again, those are lit using a fiber very, very simply. And so it adds a nice effect and then go across and even into a tree. There's little, what I call fairy lights stuck up into the tree. So you can really create some very nice scenery with fiber optic lighting. Now, one of the other features we've got down here, what we're calling a DFL unit, so dedicated flasher unit. And this allows us to actually um, run a railroad crossing. But it's going to go past some detectors right now, and we're going to see something happen immediately. Yes, there it goes. So now we've got the railroad crossings. And you'll see here, there's the flash unit. You can see the lights flashing. What we've done is we just take some fibers or we stick them into what did we call fiber chimneys. So very, very simple design. So there's the train heading off. There's a detector that's just over, over here. And after it's gone past that detector, the whole system will be turning off again. Trains.com making dreams come true, one train at a time.